In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a search functionality in your list view inside of Waterflow. So, so without any further ado, let's get into it. So here, guys, I just wanted to show you a proof of concept of what I mean by search functionality. And I believe that most of you actually know what I am talking about. So, for example, we have a bunch of the stuff here. So we have two GPUs and uh, bike and car. So these are products. And let's, for example, search for RTX. And see what's gonna happen and you see now we have made a search so since the gtx has the tx inside of it so it was shown there but let's say when we wanted to search for uh, a bike for example we want uh, uh, as you have seen when i deleted the search term everything was, was shown back just like how you see uh, in uh, any normal search uh, or list when you go for example to any website you see something like this so let's search for bike and see what we are going to get so we, we have got the bike itself with the price and uh, if i click it here as you can see i will clear the values i have put here in this uh, text field which is the search term of course and i will find myself back into my my initial list view so this is what i'm going to be making with you it's going to be very simple very easy so buckle up and let's get started so guys let me actually show you what i have here so i just want to activate it i like the way it looks when i activate this uh, high device uh, or show device by the way uh, so here what i have is very simple so it is uh, so let me actually show you the structure of uh, actually what I have here so it is very simple basic all of you will know how to build this one uh, and my my goal is to show you how to do the search functions not to build a page so here I have a row with the text field and icon so you know this is where I put the search term and this is what I use to clear the, what I have put here so I can get back to my initial result so everything was actually demonstrated at the beginning of this video and here i have so you may want you may wonder so why do you have two list views so one is called all products and the second one is called search results so one so for example so here so for the, this first one will be responsible for showing us all the products at the beginning right and when we we do a search so this will be hidden we are going to use a conditional visibility for this one so when we are searching for something we are going to hide it so we can see only the search results right but when we clear when we delete what we have here which means that we are going to be out of the search mode we are not going to be searching of uh, for indexes we are going to make it empty then we are going to show this and hide this so keep in mind that this is uh, this will be shown when we are not going to, sh uh, to search for anything and this is uh, since it is uh, called search results it will be seen only when we are going to be searching for something so le let's actually guys get started right so uh, let's actually show you the back end here it is very simple i have a list of documents called products or cl firebase collection called products and for each one i have the name price very simple very basic right and now what i want to do here is the, it's very simple so let's uh, get to it so uh, what we're going to be doing is that we're going to first go to uh, this text field because this is the main widget in this in this tutorial so i will open up its action flow and i have to choose either on submit or on change but on change is the one that is going to work well for me so i will choose on change which is which means that whenever you change the input inside of that text field so the search terms or sorry the search results will be will be changed right uh, as long as uh, you change uh, uh, the input inside the, of the text field so let's add an action and this action is it might be new to you but he's called simple search so on device which is this one right so i would select that and now they are asking me to s what is the search type so typically we want to choose this one so we want to search documents inside of uh, firebase right so choose this one and now you can give it give it the list so uh, currently we don't have it that is why i will go out and add it here so since the text field in, is inside that row so if we are going to use or since we are we need uh, that list of documents so we, that backend query must be in some of the upper widgets of this row it doesn't have to be here because this is if it is here so as you will see so i will pretend to do that backend uh so the backend i will do it uh, in that last view just to show you uh that it, it will not work if you 
tr want to try it you can try it but i will demonstrate that to you so now we have done the backhand call and now i can get back to my action and see now if i have access to it you see i don't have access to it since the list view is not uh one of the parents of the row right so we want to delete that backend and you said do that backend for the the page since it is the the higher widget so uh or so it is a page not a widget but anyway let's add the backend query for it query collection and collection is called products and choose list of documents confirm right uh that is it so now if we come back here what's gonna happen so i will open it again and now i will take a look you see now i have access to it right since the backend is on the parent of that row right so i choose this list of documents and very easy there is going to tell you what is that you are going to use as the searchable field so that we only have the name the price and we cannot search for the price since the text field is going to take uh, letters not numbers or digits so let's choose the name and for the search term is it what we are we have put inside of the text field so uh, let's search, uh, actually check the widget state and the search product right so this is everything everything there is to it so this will be you uh, we are going to use this to actually uh, search and this should be used to just uh, delete the value that we have uh, inside of that text field right so go to that icon and search for this uh, action and choose the text field you can rename it for better navigation and to avoid making some mistakes or unnecessary mistakes uh, and uh, so here now let's actually we uh, we haven't done the work yet so this as i told you so what this has to show it just has to show all the products right so at the beginning we are going to see this list so we haven't made any search then we need to see this list so let's add the backend so it's not a backend query so this, so here we have already made the backend query so there is no need to duplicate that right so we can we can but we there is another way to do this is to add generate dynamic children and use that backhand here and use it inside of this one right so as you can see confirm and give it a name let's say all products and save it okay and here you can come here and add the name so most of you guys have noticed that it is the same as the backend well it is the same but sometimes it will it just it it needs to be so it has something that is different than just a, a backend right so query right so we can add uh, price right so guys uh, now we are going to talk about the search term so uh, so this is when i will be using this dynamic uh, or general dynamic children so we are not going to use that but you will see so uh, so it, it is exactly a generating dynamic children but with something new to it so as i told you this is what this is the search result right so i'm going to add another generating dynamic children but this time instead of going here we are going to select this one you see simple search results so the results are going to be shown here that is why i will choose it as uh, the option for generating dynamic children right so i'll confirm it and give it a name and now click on save so uh, the same process can be done again as you can see you can choose the name and here we can pick up the price so guys it is very simple as you see so i hope that you have enjoyed it and uh, uh, so now uh, let me actually recap so what i have done so far is that i have shown here so for this one so the this one was just uh, like the backend query we have just uh, shown all all uh, the products so this will be useful when we haven't actually made any uh, backend or any actually search right and this is as you see this is was r related to the search result which means that it will show us only the uh, the thing that we have sh we have searched for. Now the last thing will be actually seen in the next step. So in this step, I'm going to talk about the condition of visibility I have just told I have just told you about in the, at the beginning of this of this video. So uh, this will be useful. So the condition visibility will be useful to control which one which list view to see. Is it this one or this one? Because when you search, you don't want to see all the products, and we. And when you haven't made any kind of search, 
so you want to see all the products not this one right this is very simple so to do that we are going to use an app state that we control which one can be shown right and it is called search mode you can call it whatever you like and it is a boolean so we can create that so it is uh, which means that you are either inside of the search mode or or outside of that search mode right so and now uh, we can use that right so uh now we, uh, we have just added a new app state right so then there is something that will be affecting that specific app state so which is this one so let's open up its uh, action flow and now guys what i want to show you is that so whenever you on change so keep in mind it is on change which means that you are uh, changing uh, the input so whenever you change the input you make a simple search and whenever you make uh, actually whenever you for example you you make a change this means that you are already inside of the search mode so there is one thing that we can add here so we can so before we make the simple search we want to get ourselves inside of the search mode so to do that we want to update the app state which which we have just added and we want to set it to true because we want to get ourselves inside of that specific uh, search mode right we want to set the value to true right and this guy right here as you can see so it will delete what we have there and after we have deleted that then we need to get ourselves outside of the test mode so it is very basic simple so we can add another action and search for uh, update uh, app stage and the same with that we have done previously uh, but this time we are going to keep it full because we are going to clear as you see we are going to clear the text or maybe we want to keep this first we want to clear the text field and then we want to go out of the search mode right but still we haven't actually managed to finish everything right so the last thing to do is to add that uh, condition visibility so for all products that list view does have to be shown all the time so it has to be the opposite of the search mode which means that if the search mode was on then this has to be sh hidden and if the search mode was off then this has to be shown so it is the opposite kind of so you can stop the video to assimilate what i have just said but i will continue right so apply a, uh, a condition visibility right so it is right here and i would say that it will go directly to the app stage and search mode so uh, now it's not how i want it so i want to click there and like, apply the opposite statement so if the search mode was on so we are searching then this will be off which will be hidden right confirm so but for the search results it's not the opposite of the search mode it is the same as the search mode so if we are searching then this has to show up if we are not searching that this has not that this has to be hidden uh, anyway right and so we can come here and uh, add another condition visibility and this time it goes directly or in harmony with the search mode so before we finish we uh, we just want to come here so uh, so you see that one list view is push it down so we can uh, select this column and so i have already made that uh, so the column was had three and the other one has one had one so we can avoid any kind of uh, overflows so you can add that to avoid the overflows and that's it, it for it uh, guys thank you so much for watching i'm so happy that you have been able to uh, follow along with me so go now uh, try to do this inside of Flutterflow. so i'm just give you, going to give you this because i wanted you to go and try it because i love you and i want you to learn not just watch i want you to learn so now you can watch the video again if you didn't understand or go back to specific parts but make sure you go right now so start the video don't don't do anything go open up Flutterflow and try this try it and if you have any question or request so please go to the comment section and put them there and i will be happy to make a video for you to answer your questions and uh, help you solve your problems so i hope that you have find this video helpful if you do don't get, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go directly and try this with yourself at flow and see you on next video